This is going to be an experiment to see if I can measure the temperature inside the pressure cooker as it pressurizes. Up until now, I've been relying solely on this pressure gauge that I installed in place of the safety blowout release thing. I'll be using a temperature probe that came with this Fluke multimeter. Okay, the water is starting to boil, and it has now occurred to me that the probe may interfere with the pressure regulator, so we'll see about that. The internet seems to be confident that using an infrared gun will work to check the temperature. I'm going to show why it won't. The pressure button has just popped up. We're approaching 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and the infrared reading is 100 degrees. At 5 psi, the meter is reading 230 degrees. At 10 psi, the meter is reading 240 degrees. And at 15 psi, the meter is reading 250 degrees. Hooray. And if you are wondering, the infrared reading is still only around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason this isn't working is because the pot is reflecting the infrared radiation. In order for this to work, I would have needed to place a dark, thermally conductive material against the pot to properly measure the black body radiation. Maybe graphite might work? I might try that another day.